Hi, it's Tyler, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I have something very interesting and fun for you guys. I'm sure you've heard of this brand before, but today I'm going to be telling you guys about Inkbox. So I first discovered this brand because I have been looking to get a tattoo for a very long time now, like since I've been eligible to get a tattoo basically. But the problem is I am very indecisive and I have trust issues. <laughs> That's basically the gist of it. Cause I have seen so many botched tattoos online and on the, no, that is online, online and in person that I am terrified of getting tattoos basically. So like my main problem is I don't know where to put it and I don't know who to ask to put a tattoo on me or to design the tattoo. Like I have a very clear idea of what I want, I just don't know where to put it. So I found Inkbox and I was like, this is the perfect solution for me. So what it is basically is they are temporary tattoos, but they're not like the kind you used as a kid. They're like sticky and peel off. They are tattoos that last for two weeks approximately. So they like kind of give you the idea of what a tattoo will look like on you without feeling like a tattoo and lasting like a tattoo. So this is one I have been trying recently and this is coming up on the week and a half mark but it is placed where I wash my hands a lot so you can see like where I wash my hands up to so the tip of the sword ends about right here you can barely see it so this is kind of like what the fading process is this is probably what it'd be like if I didn't wash this area a lot but I really really like the look of this tattoo and while it's like when it's completely vibrant, it looks like a real tattoo, but then once it started to fade, people were like, oh, what's wrong with your tattoo? And it's like, oh no, it's a temporary one. It's supposed to look like that. And they were like, oh, interesting. The tattoo community is kind of a little bit judgmental about temporary tattoos, I feel, but I can't make a commitment. So I like to try this out a lot. They have like so many options on their website that it took me forever to decide which tattoo I wanted. And like, now I still have the, like, where do I want to put it dilemma. Like, I didn't, I didn't plan on putting it there because if I'm gonna get a real tattoo, I need to put it somewhere that I can cover it up easily if I'm gonna do like TV and movies because for TV and movies, like any sort of like digital media I think you do that is like long lasting, you need to get permission from the tattoo artist to have their art displayed. And you need to get that permission every single time you do it. And then you need to give that permission to the studio. So it's a lot of work if you want your tattoo on display. And if you want to hide it, it's easier to hide it if it's like on the inside of your arm or something or on your chest or body. So that's one dilemma I have. But then the other dilemma I have is like as a woman, these areas may stretch eventually I mean on anyone they may stretch eventually but like as a woman specifically in certain areas they're gonna stretch more so so I've always been thinking about that and like I just overthink everything so it's been hard for me to decide when I get an actual tattoo so how this works is you they give like a whole pamphlet description it's not pamphlet it's paper but anyways it's a whole description they also have a video you can watch apparently on here it says how long a tattoo will last last based on where it is. So on the bicep, a fresh tattoo will last, like the darkness, if it's completely dark, it'll last for one to seven days and faded, it'll last eight to 14. Forearm, one to six, seven to 12. Hand, one to four, five to eight. So I think the area it lasts the longest is the ankle, surprisingly. Do you not wash your ankles, people? Huh? Not everyone washing their ankles? So legs seem like they're gonna last the longest. Thigh, calf, and ankle. They don't say anything about your torso. But, yes. So then next, it also says, says sweating will make your tattoo blurry. Apply in a comfortable, comfortable setting with dent, with, I can't speak. If you have dense hair, shave it at least 24 hours prior to applying your tattoo. You can only use the tattoo once. For best results, hydrate your skin by moisturizing and drinking lots of water. Wait one hour after moisturizing to apply tattoo. You also have to wait 
between showering when you apply the tattoo because showering obviously makes it fade. So how to start is you prep skin with a primer wipe, you apply the tattoo, you leave the tattoo on for 60 minutes, you remove everything and then it's going to develop in a 24 to 36 hour time period. And then aftercare is to lose, wear loose clothing on the first night, avoid exfoliating tattoo, and continue to hydrate your skin. So the website is very easy to navigate. I found all the tattoos I was looking for really easily. It was just deciding on like which design I liked the best and then checking out was super easy and shipping to Hawaii, what, I don't think I paid shipping actually. It wasn't too bad, I think, because if it was bad, I would remember. But it got here really, really quickly, but then I let it sit for a while because I didn't know where to put them. <laughs> okay, so let me show you the tattoos I got. Some of them are for someone else in my house, but I'll show you them anyways. So this is the first one I got. It's a sword. It's a broken sword. It's in three pieces, and it has a flower wrapping around it. I think this may be an actual tattoo I want to get, but maybe like on the inside of my arm, maybe. Okay, then another one I got is these two fishes. It may be a little bit hard to, let me lower the brightness a little bit maybe. Okay, these two fishes, they are the yin and yang symbol, but it really reminded me of Avatar The Last Airbender, the two fish in season one that, you know, controlled the moon. I really liked it and I thought it was kind of like a subtle nod to Avatar The Last Airbender. The other one, this is for someone else, but it's a quote that says, turn your wounds into wisdom, which is a really nice quote. And it's just a, you can't really see it, but it's in cursive and it's a long sort of thing. So maybe a chest area. Um, and online it shows you like what the dimensions of the tattoo are. But if you're like me and you're not very good at uh, dimensions, you will be surprised at the sizing when they come in. <laughs> Another one that's for someone else is the classic wave design. They look very faint in person until you apply them and they'll get dark. So this is the wave, it's pretty big. Oh, it also has um, the mountain in the back. I wanna say the name of the mountain, but I know it's wrong because that's not the name of its mountain. It's the, the mountain in Japan. <laughs> oh, oh, I need to look up the mountain. Hey Siri. What is the tallest mountain in Japan? The Mount Fuji. In Japan is Mount it has Mount Fuji in it. That was not the name I was going to say, so I'm so glad I did not say it off the top of my head. Okay, the next thing I got, let me show you actually this one first. So this is a wolf. It's the tarot card for the wolf. And I at first didn't know what the tarot card meaning was, but then once I looked it up, I really liked it. And um, I've always wanted to get a wolf tattoo just because I have a, a close connection to wolves. Oh, I, I'm not going to go into detail, but it's not like the sort of close connection you may think. It's a, it's a spiritual connection related to Native American stuff, so you wouldn't understand. I'll explain it if you guys are interested in, but it's like a long story about, you know, my connection to wolves, okay? But anyways. It's the tarot card for wolves. Let me look it up and tell you guys what the wolf tarot card means. Because it's going to be on my body. Wolf symbolizes loyalty, perseverance, the teacher, intuition, freedom, instinct, intelligence, the value of social connect connections, and the pathfinder. That's the cosmic meaning of wolf. But what is the tarot card? Wolf tarot card meaning. Uh, 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 uh. The card represents life of the imagination apart from the life of the spirit. Yeah, sounds about right. The moon tarot card, that, that's, what, that's what it's supposed to be. Ah, ah. The moon card is a... The moon is a card of illusion and deception and therefore often suggests a time when something is not as it appears to be. Perhaps a misunderstanding on your part or a truth that you cannot admit to yourself. There are many truths I cannot admit to myself, so this would be a good reminder to me. I think I'm gonna put this one on my thigh, because it's very big. Maybe on the side would work, look nice too, but then you guys can't see that, because I can't apply it on camera. I have to apply one on camera to show you guys at least. And then the last one, this is one I've been planning for for a very long time. I couldn't find the flower itself, but um, so it's, you know, the stereotypical sort of flower 
tattoo. This is the closest I could find to the actual flower I wanted. I want to get a lupine flower. You know, the connection to the wolves again. But it has a deeper meaning for me, okay? It's not just about wolves. It's about where the lupine is found, found the flower is found, my, and what happened when I found that flower, yada, yada, yada. It's a deep meaning that I actually don't really want to share online, but it's personal. But anyways, I want to put a lupine flower somewhere on me, but I don't know where. Because the drawings I've seen of lupine flowers in tattoo form I don't necessarily like. Like, they're kind of dramatic and like they're in the new American sort of style. I don't know what the style is called, but it's like the style that always has the eagle with it. And I don't really like that style. So, I've been looking for an artist who I might think may be able to draw the lupine in the way I want. But this would be a good way to see where I want it. I've always been thinking about it on my rib cage, but I know this is probably a painful spot because it's on the ribs and I'm a tiny person. Or maybe the inside of my arm. I think for you guys, I'll apply it on the inside of my arm so you can see it. But the one thing about this that's a little bit of a pain when I put this on, you have to make sure it doesn't like wrinkle or anything or the transfer is going to be kind of weird. And you have to stay like that for an hour. Now hour is a long time when you have to hold still. And I know that's probably like what it's like to be getting a real tattoo, but uh, that's a lot of work. Okay, so what should I apply for you guys? What would be the easiest? I've always wanted to get like a tattoo like right over here by the heart but I'd have to change my shirt to do that. Okay, I've changed my shirt for you all, and I'm gonna put it like right here. Hearts on the left side. So like right here. They give you prep pads. They're just like kind of exfoliating. It gets the skin ready to put it on. So just need to... and then let it dry for 30 seconds. Okay, so I took the tattoo out of its little package and it's just like that. And I'm going to apply it now. And I think I'm gonna apply it with the white fish on top. Okay, and you make sure it's not folded and then you take the little white backing off if I could find where it starts. And then you're set. And you need to wait for an hour. So I will come back. Actually, I'm going to come back after like 24 hours once it darkens. So I will see you guys later. So after I, I leave it on for just an hour, just take it off and then I leave it alone for a while. So I know I said I'd be back in 24 hours, but it is actually a week later. So this is what the tattoo looks like a week later. When I first took it off, there was a little bit of bleeding from the blackfish, but now it looks like completely fine. Like it looks really, really great. So this is after, you know, like time in the sun, showers, just rub on the clothing. So this is what it looks like after a week. It's a lot different from what my arm looked like after a week. So this is kind of like how you can tell the difference. My arm tattoo is actually almost complete. It is completely gone. Last night I still had like some of the hilt, but after I took a shower, it's completely gone now. So this is what that looks like. Um, I haven't put the other ones on because I'm still kind of indecisive on um, where I want to put them, so I'm still saving them. But I talk a lot about how my skin is really sensitive, so this did not really irritate my skin at all. The scrubbing didn't irritate it, but it made my skin kind of red, but it wasn't like itchy or sore. And then while I had the, um, the sticker part applied, it got a little bit itchy, but not to the point like I felt like I was having an allergic reaction or I was uncomfortable, it was more just like, oh, I can feel it, I kind of need to scratch at it. But then after I took everything off and I let it develop, it's like fine. And I don't know if you can tell, but on temporary tattoos, sometimes you see like there's a sticky film around it, but there has not been a sticky film on it 
ever since I took the sticker off. Like when I took the sticker off, there wasn't even like stick sticks that was stuck on there. It was like completely fine. So I really, really like this brand. I think they're doing a great job. It's a lot different from other temporary tattoos I've seen. A lot of the other temporary tattoos I've seen, they have like the kind of like the stick where you can like scratch it off. But this is like, it's like part of my skin right now. Like to get this off, I'd have to exfoliate and like wash a whole bunch. So this is like there. It's there right now. Um, I don't know how it will apply to my legs. I haven't tried that yet, but like arms and body, pretty good. So yeah, I think the website is really easy to navigate. You can kind of just put in keywords or you can look up things by theme. I think the prices are pretty reasonable because you have to remember that um, the artists are getting part of this. I, I'm pretty sure the artists are getting a commission from this as well. So. I think the prices are fair for, you know, the artist to get a cut of it, for us to get like a quality sort of thing. And like the way this is, I really don't mind paying certain prices. And the prices do vary by the size of the tattoo. I'm not sure if it varies by who the artist is or not. I haven't really looked into it that in depth. But from like surface level, from trying everything out, I really, really like it. I think it's a great brand to try and I've seen really good things about it online. So this is my ink box tattoo review. I think if you if you already have tattoos, but you just like want to have some fun temporary ones for like a certain occasion, I think this would be great. If you don't have any tattoos and you want to sort of dabble in it or like experiment on placement, this is perfect. And if you just don't ever want to get a tattoo, but like you want to have something fun while you're on vacation and be like, look at me, amazing. And like, I really like that it lasts a longer period of time and like it doesn't bother my skin or like make me feel like I have something there. So. I like it a lot and it makes me want to get all the tattoos I see on there. So I will have Inkbox linked down below. I will try and find the names of all the tattoos I've showed you guys so you guys can get them if you like them. And I will post some pictures on my Instagram once I put the other ones on so you can see them as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Check out Inkbox if you want to. And leave a comment if you are so inclined. And I will see you guys next time. Love you. Bye.